proposed to have quite a short technical legal bill which will repeal section 17 of the Criminal Law Amendment Act 1935 which makes it a crime to sell or have for sale or advertise contraceptives. I was elected by men and women of all parties and none, by many with great moral courage who stepped out from the faded flags of the Civil War and voted for a new Ireland, and above all, by the women of Ireland. And I'm um, sorry that I cannot be entirely calm speaking to you because I have such a sense of what the world must take responsibility for. I mentioned earlier my role in the Secretary General's plan to integrate human rights in all aspects of the United Nations work. The Universal Declaration of Human Rights. I carry it around with me and it has a wonderful beginning in Article 1. It just says quite simply, all human beings are born free and equal in dignity and rights. I have to conclude that there must have been some reason why President Milosevic did not wish to meet me, because I certainly wish to meet him. I've never been able to get Somalia out of my uh, skin, if you like, um, since I was here in 1992. And when I look around and I see yet again, and these are very resilient people and they want the best, they want just food and water initially for their families. More small islands will go under, more communities will be flooded, big cities will be flooded and we obviously don't want that. I mean, it really is an unjust impact, and it's impacting on their right to food, on their health, on um, their shelter, it's displacing them, and, uh, you know, it's really uh, a human rights issue, very fundamentally. I'm very proud of my Irishness. It was the greatest honour that anybody could have to serve as President of Ireland. When she travelled abroad as president, she would place a light in her window that would draw people of Irish descent to pass by below. Today, as an advocate for the hungry and the hunted, the forgotten and the ignored, Mary Robinson has not only shown a light on human suffering, but illuminated a better future for our world. She cares about poverty, she cares about injustice, she cares about oppression. She has an incredible warmth. She's, she's got a way of disarming people. Mary has uh, embodied the issue of uh, human rights and respect to the other. Now it has become a part of herself. <laughs>